All right, so in my experience, racist is one of the most triggering words for white people. Silly honkies, you're not supposed to get upset when we say you were terrible people. You're supposed to accept it. Lie down and then we stomp on your face for equality. But are all white people racist? It's gonna be a yes with absolutely no fucking self-awareness, isn't it? Let me explain using science. No, that's our word. And I don't mean white people's calm your fucking tits. I mean those of us that can brain. Gord. Short answer, no. Oh cool, that's it folks, time to go home, roll the outro. Long answer, yes, of course. A racist is defined as someone who feels discrimination or prejudice to people of a different race, or feels that one race is superior to another. Pretty apt description. I'm happy to go with that. You're probably already like, oh my god, but that's not me. I don't talk like that. Do I? Hold the fuck on, I'm not done. It's like, yeah, how dare you have a reaction to some asshole literally saying all white people are racist while not having the self-awareness to realize that's a massively racist statement. Three minutes left in this video, chill. My chill is none of your concern, matey boy. A lot of people are probably focused on the latter part of that definition, perceived racial superiority. I wouldn't have thought so. People know that racists think less of other demographics because of arbitrary characteristics. It's what makes racists morons and or bad people. But this behavioral neuroscientist is focused on the word prejudice. That word is the centerpiece by which the rest of this definition can exist. Okay, so racist people are prejudiced. Fine, I can agree with that. So long as we aren't going to go to stupid town with how we define it. Fun fact, humans do have a tendency to create in-groups and out-groups. Like damned racist whiteies and wonderful, beautiful black gods and goddesses. But they aren't born with prejudice. That's something that we learn. It's a product of nurture, not nature. From your damn racist cracker parents, so you'll grow up into a damn racist cracker. We get it. What that means is that we learn it from the people we're around, the people that we're raised by, also known as social contact. You can learn biases from people that you grow up around, but you don't necessarily do. Because people are individuals made up of every experience that they have, not just where or with whom they grew up. Social contact to different people has been proven scientifically to improve cognitive development and cultural understanding overall. Weird. See, I grew up in the UK, and while I had a few ethnically diverse friends, the vast majority of people I knew were white. But I didn't grow up racist. You know why? Because I'm not an asshole. What? Shut the fuck up. I'm not. Cunt. Inside prejudice is bias, or the inclination to have certain opinions based on your personal experiences. So you aren't going to define prejudice. Fuck's sake. Well, what most people would go with is holding negative views on individuals who are part of a demographic based solely on that piece of information. You haven't demonstrated all white people do that. So... Whether you think that Drake and J-Lo go well together, or that the 1996 motion picture Space Jam is the best movie of all time, it is. Oh, for fuck's sake. I might have to agree with you on something. That movie is my jam. If you're gonna at me, come at me. We all have biases, and those biases align themselves to positive and negative emotions. Like, wow, I love this. Or, fuck white people, cause they racist and shit. I hate this. Yes, it is a terrible video. But you are the one who decided to make it, so you've only yourself to blame. These opinions are based on a multitude of things. For instance, the media, stereotypes, and being around people from different walks of life. I'll say it again for those of y'all on the back. We all have racial biases. Do we though? Because I really don't give a fuck what colour someone is. The only thing I care about is what you do and what you say. So, is having racial bias the exact same thing as being racist? In my opinion, nah. Uh, kinda? I mean, I would concede that the strength of those biases count for something, but if it's not that strong and you're the type of person who doesn't let that inform your decisions, then yeah, not a racist. It's really the crux of this shit. It doesn't matter what a person thinks, so long as their treatment of people is fair and equal. A racist is their actions. Really. Racism is a spectrum, not a binary where you can either be a racist or an angel. Fuck off, you are either a racist or not. Now, there are levels of being a racist, sure, but a lot of us just aren't. That doesn't make us angels either. In my opinion, it makes us decent human beings. That's about it. Take it from Obi-Wan. 
Only a Sith deals in absolutes. That was always a dumbass line. The Sith were always the shades of grey one, and the Jedi jumped up preachy cunts, acting like the arbiters of right and wrong. Hashtag fuck Jedis. To all who have supported me so far, I apologize for losing your trust in using a Star Wars prequel reference. Humor everyone. It's not what it used to be. I'll do better from here on out. Lol, I'm sure he won't. But he did have a point. Need proof? Let's go take a test. The Implicit Association Test, or IAT, was a test developed by Harvard researchers to examine correlations between certain attributes like good, bad, fun, evil, and targets like black, white, gay, or straight. Yep, I've done it numerous times. The results may surprise you. They won't surprise anyone, by the way. It was no implicit bias. When I took the test, I showed less racial bias towards any one group, probably because I had a very diverse upbringing with friends and family from all walks of life. That puts me a little bit lower on our racism spectrum. My man. <laughs> well, regardless of whether I believe you or not, considering the dumbass shit you seem to believe, say it's true. From the sound of it, it doesn't put you on the racism spectrum. It would just mean that you're not racist. Although, you are about to contradict yourself, so we know what your test actually said. I did have a little bit of racial bias favoring people of African descent, which makes sense because I was raised by people of African descent and spent the most time with them. What a shock. I am very surprised that you would have bias in favour of black people. Now tell me, tell me, does that affect your treatment of non-black people? Because if it does, guess who's the fucking racist? So yes, it's possible to have racial biases, no matter how woke you are, or how much you love The Wire. I am not woke, nor do I watch normal television. Wait, is not watching network TV racist now? Racial biases can happen both ways. So, the IAT isn't the end-all be-all whether you're racist or not. It really fucking should be. You don't can't seem to have missed the point that, yes, being racist is a bad thing. And if you want people to care that they are racist, stop watering down the definition. It's not helping. But if you're like, man, according to this test, I might be a racist. Then kill yourself. Or, I don't know, judge your racism based on your treatment of others rather than something that amounts to a fucking BuzzFeed quiz. OMG, do you hate darkies? Find out with our new fun quiz, XOXO. Start by diversifying your friend group. You first, and I mean diversity of opinions. Stop echo chambering the fuck out of yourself, you dumb shit. Pick up a history book. Talk to folks who aren't like you. Oh, come on. That is just the pot calling the kettle blah. Um, ethnically diverse. It's never too late to unlearn prejudice. <sighs> Fuck, I hate that word. 1984 called. It wants everything you think and say back. Cheers. But you have to acknowledge that it exists first, fam. But I just don't want to have to start treating pricks who are black, brown, or yellow, or pink, or green any differently from how I treat white pricks. You're all pricks. And you can all fuck off. Equality, brother. And watch Space Jam, it's mad good. Set the bunny tits. Shit's weird, son. I think they might have invented furries. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to my only black friend, Tyler. I mean, I had other black friends, but upon agreeing to make this guest video on his channel, I had to disavow them. I think it's worth it. I only need one black friend in order for it to be fine for me to go out into the streets, take a deep breath and scream nee how to everyone in the Chinese district. You thought I was going to say something else. Fuck you, I would never say anything racist, you dirty fucking cracker honky white devil. Go subscribe to my channel for more stupid shit like this. Cheers, bye.